I want to you all glad meeting you all in another session that's chapter number 2 once again the photosynthesis and this time we are going to understand the factors in a deep way that affect photosynthesis definitely on grade 11 science and for the second time we are going to learn this photosynthesis subject and let's understand what we have to learn let's do that right okay what do we have here to learn yes conditions and factors conditions and factors for the photosynthesis yes we know that from the previous section that we need sunlight we need chlorophyll we need water and carbon dioxide but we are going to understand how definitely that is happening let's get into the subject welcome back okay 2.1 the factors that affect the photosynthesis let us study how green plants obtain water and carbon dioxide for photosynthesis now the green plant getting water but how green plants getting carbon dioxide but how how it goes inside the plant that's a, a little a deep knowledge the terrestrial plants when we are talking about the terrestrial plants terrestrial plants obtain water from soil for photosynthesis most of the plants definitely getting water from the soil now how that particular the fact number 1 water is getting into the plant if you see this beautiful animation the water is going down here you see this one yes now the water in the soil is absorbed through root hairs by osmosis the osmosis is the name that it is the water transfer happening from where from the soil to the plant water in the soil is absorbed through root hairs by osmosis you remember that one now let's move on the absorbed water then travel into root xylem through cortex and endomes once the water they received the absorbed water then travels into root xylem okay it's like that root xylem through cortex and endomes water is moving slowly absorbed water then travels into where root xylem through where cortex and endomes that is another one after osmosis we are talking about cortex and endomes fantastic now from there water is transported into mesophyll cells of leaves via xylem of stem and the veins of leaves that you have to remember from there water is transported into mesophyll cells of leaves via the xylem of stem and the veins of leaves the network of veins in the leaves distributes water throughout the leaf look at that network that is a beautiful network over there inside the leaf and it is a definite beautiful weave that you are getting that it's looking very structured and beautiful the water is evenly distributed after that now let's understand the factor number 2 it's carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is obtained from the atmosphere for photosynthesis also look at this red color arrow mark carbon dioxide where are they are getting from they are getting from atmosphere for photosynthesis now look the leaf enter anatomy leaf anatomy very carefully carbon dioxide diffuses into leaf through stomata look at this yellow color stomata it just like a, a hole so it is carbon dioxide is going through that then it reached the mesophyll cells where intercellular space this palisade mesophyll spongy mesophylls are carrying water through this stomata to this stoma stomata yes they call it stoma here stomata carbon dioxide diffuses into leaf remember that it diffuses into leaf through stomata then it reaches the mesophyll cells where intercellular space so the water reach there definitely and the carbon dioxide also reaching to that mesophyll cells another one is important that's chlorophyll 
Now green leaves contain a pigment called chlorophyll. Look at this green color. Yes, chlorophyll is a green substance that gives that makes the leaf the color green. If there is no chlorophyll, there won't be green color. So the chlorophyll traps light energy from the sun. That is the best important thing. Chlorophyll, what what it does? Chlorophyll traps the light in energy from the sun. When the sunlight is giving light energy, there is two definite color. That sunlight is getting trapped where chlorophyll. Chlorophyll traps the light energy from the sun, which is then used to combine carbon dioxide and water into sugar in the process of photosynthesis. What a beautiful way that it is making. So the chlorophyll is taking the sunlight and helping the carbon dioxide and the water to mix together and make the sugar what it wants. Definite beauty, right? So the chlorophyll is vital for photosynthesis as it helps plants get energy from the light. So what the chlorophyll does it definitely doing there? It is helping the water and carbon dioxide to mix together. So we came to know very beautifully the special green pigments called chlorophyll found in the chloroplast in plant cells absorb energy from sunlight what a beautiful way to fulfill and end the transaction voila so factor number one two three and four it's learned beautifully so what did we learn in this video factors for photosynthesis is clearly explained and what definitely chlorophyll is doing and how the chlorophyll is trapping the sunlight and helping for the food production or the sugar production in a leaf using water and carbon dioxide. So accordingly the factors that affect photosynthesis are chlorophyll, light energy, water and carbon dioxide let's meet in another beautiful beautiful session of this photosynthesis and i hope you learned something very interesting today and bye bye and take care of self